Hey guys, it's Friendly Toad here. I was asked to make a video uh, showing how to create a custom monster that spawns a bigger monster or multiple monsters when it dies. So to do that, you're going to go to lifestone.org and you're going to create an account. So I'm going to log in. I already have an account created. And then once that's done, you can go to wings and search the type of monster you want to create as your base. So I'm just going to use an Ultoy worker as my base monster and then I'm going to have it spawn three Ulthoi nobles. So I just search for under name Ulthoi. You can search by the WCID if you want, which is the weenie ID. And let's see here. Okay, so let's use the top one and I'm just going to click here clone, which will save it into my sandbox so I can edit it. And by cloning it, you can it gives you the option to create your own weenie ID. And you can change the name if you want. So I'm just going to put um, 100,000 as my weenie ID. You want to do something in the 100,000 range because I believe the game uses up to 55,000 as their weenies and then um, maybe even up to 70,000. So do 100,000 just to be on the safe side. And then once you have this, you can save it and it should save it into your sandbox. So if you click up on your sandbox here, you'll have your Ulthoi worker with your custom weenie ID and then we can click edit and then that will take us uh, back to where we were so we can edit it. So what I like to do when I'm creating a custom monster or NPC or anything like that is I will find one that's similar that's already in the database so I can clone and copy over the information just to make it easier for myself. So I know that an Ulthoi Ripper spawns two ninjas when it dies. So let's look up the Ulthoi Ripper weenie by just clicking weenies. <laughs> My cat's at the window scratching. Okay, so I'm gonna look up Ulthoi Ripper and search. And then we can see how the weenie generates the item. If we just click edit. Okay, so looking at this on the left-hand side, if you look under generated items, it'll say that it spawns a Tenada Nanju Shujen which is one of the ninjas on death. And then if you look under the emotes, you can see under action, it has the generator, the generate emote. Right here, it has probability. This is set to 0 0.02, which is 0.02% chance. Some people have copied over the Ripper weenie and they create a monster and it doesn't spawn anything. It's because this is uh, such a low number. So make sure you change that to at least one which will um, give it a 100% chance. If you want a 50% chance, you can do 0.5 and so on. So let's go back to our, our weenie and click under emotes. And then this is where we're going to start to uh, add stuff. OK, so under this little plus mark here, we're going to click it. Click it and go to the drop down list and click uh, death, which is number three, and save. And then under the drop down list, we go to death. And then probability, like we were talking about before, we're going to just change that to one. Under actions, we're going to add an action. And I believe 72 is generate. So just scroll down. Where is it? Generate. So we're going to have the action that's going to generate on death. I'm going to put three here because I want to generate three, leave delay zero. I don't know what this top one is, but let's just leave it as one because that's what the Ripper has. Okay, so we're going to save that. And then we're going to move up to generated items and click plus. So let's just start copying over what is on the Ripper page, but we're going to change the monster respawn because I want it to spawn three nobles. So I'm going to put zero for slot, probability one, delay zero, WCID. Uh, I think it is 212 is noble. Let's see. Yeah, I'll play Noble and then just select it from the drop down list. Regen, death, location, we want it on top of us. They're on top of the monster that dies. Uh, stack, zero, shade, zero, palette, zero, max, we've got three max. We initially want to spawn three. Cell, we can put zero. And then let's click save. Perfect. I'm going to click save again just because sometimes, I don't know it, like it doesn't save it every time. So let's go under 
our guy we created and click edit see if our changes actually worked okay so we got okay so we got our emotes yeah those save let's look at generate perfect nice yeah sometimes this doesn't save i don't know why but anyway so that's how you do that and then we can go back to our sandbox you can download the original but we want to download the sandbox uh, version that we edited so let's download that and so what you need to do uh, to upload now uh, this JSON file into our game is you go into your ace folder under server content you have two folders here one's called JSON and one's called SQL so when you export uh, stuff from in-game uh, it goes into these folders and then if you want to import stuff that they have to be in these folders so right now we're working with a JSON file if we're working with an SQ, SQL file we'll put it under the SQL so if you don't have these uh, folders under content just create them yourselves make sure they're spelled correctly then we're going to go out under json weenies and we're going to go to sorry our downloads folder i'm going to cut the weenie i'm going to go back to the json weenies folder and paste it in there so under sql because i've been i mainly work in sql i have a thing called land blocks, quests, recipes, weenies, and these are all the fold file folders you need for when you're um, exporting and importing. So you can create them there and you can create, create them in the JSON, but I'm gonna make another video on how to do all that stuff. But for now, this is just about making this custom monster. So under JSON, weenies, we got our all-play worker. Now to actually spawn it in game and to add it to the database, we're gonna close all this and we're gonna load up our server. Okay, now just log into your server using Thorg. Okay, you might be wondering now, how do I get my monster I made in game? Well, what you need to do is import it. So we're going to type in slash import dash JSON, and this will import it into our database. So I'm going to put it in 100,000 here. And press enter i'm not going to do it because i've already done it before but yeah so press enter and what it'll do is it'll change that json file into a sql file and put it into the world database so once it's in the world database we can now spawn it so if i type slash create 100,000, it should spawn our monster yeah so we got our old boy worker here and if i kill it it should spawn yeah the three that we the three nobles we uh, created earlier. So I'm just gonna take these guys out, punch them to death. And now, if you want to have your monster in the world permanently, find a nice juicy spot you want it. So I'm just gonna stand here. You type in slash create insta slash create inst, which stands for instance. And then we'll put in our WCID. And it will spawn the guy on top of us. So now this is where the monster will always spawn. And I'm just going to get rid of him. So there's a nice little program here called Ace Content Creator for Deco. It's nice because you can use it to import or export JSON and SQL files. You can also uh, create instances and remove stuff and whatnot. So it's really useful if you're doing a lot of custom stuff or just mess around the game. So hopefully this tutorial helped and I'll see you in the next one.